All right, here is my explanation for um, my most recent patch. Um, and in this one, I decided to only use um, the things up here. I don't have anything, uh, it, I have my mini brute down here, but none of these cords uh, go to it and it's not even turned on. So it's just my um, modules. Uh, it's kind of neat to have enough of them now that I feel like I can make something interesting out of it. Um, uh, the clock uh, for everything is run by channel four here. So when I kick this on, um, it's gonna start clocking the variegate um, at, at the clock in here, um, but it's also uh, tip top over to the trigger input of plats. Um, so the, the main two voices you're hearing is uh, this three sisters um, that is self oscillating. Um, and uh, in reading through the manual, um, I'd seen somewhere about this, but I was reading through the manual about this, um, that they even suggest um, uh, uh, combining multiple, uh, the multiple inputs or outputs of this uh, together with a passive malt. Um, they say it's it's possible to do, um, and then that output um, goes into my uh, VCA up here in my hexagram. Um, the the thing about using all three is that because they're evenly spaced, you don't you can't end up with a kind of what most people would consider a normal chord. Um, you could end up with a diminished chord or an augmented chord, um, or do something like octaves, but it might not track as well. Um, but then I thought, well, hey, I'll just take two of them. Uh, so I have the low and the center uh, outputs being mixed together and they're about a minor third apart. Let me go ahead and um, pull that sound up. If I turn up, let's see, what do I gotta do? I gotta turn up this guy. We'll hear them. So that's these two right here. You can hear I'm So this is controlling how low the low one is. Um, but then uh, the output of channel four um, is going into my VCA. I'm actually, oh, I, I didn't realize it was coming through here. I didn't need it, need to send it into here. I could have just controlled its volume here. Um, but I sent it up to here to control its volume through another VCA uh, so I can control the volume of that. Um, but then the end of cycle is also the thing that is um, clocking my variegate four plus and then uh, plats. Uh, one thing that I found that was somewhat interesting is the speed. I don't know if it's the speed of the maths or um, how well variegate um, tracks when it's just uh, single pulses for it. Um, you'll notice the melody kind of skips a little bit uh, with this. And I thought it was a kind of interesting thing uh, that I found at lower speeds of this it didn't do and at higher speeds it did. So just have a listen for that a second for that. If we see here on, um, okay, now it's not tracking it at all. Oh, I must have bumped it out. Oh, maybe it wasn't tracking well because it wasn't plugged in all the way. Weird. That's my main voice here. Uh, those those kind of minor. I think I got them tuned about a minor third apart, um, being malted together, um, and then uh, CV'd by my channel four, and then taking out of here so that it wasn't going into the mix of what else I'm using. Um, yeah. So my other voice is uh, coming from Platts, which is um, primarily set on um, the second one here. Um, but uh, its model is being controlled by a couple of the other gates on the variegate. So uh, let's talk about what's uh, sequenced here. Uh, channel one here uh, is on the CV. Um, it's set to the main melody that's controlling uh, the three sisters. Um, and step three is controlling the pitch plats that we'll hear in just a second here, mostly staying on one note, then stepping up every once in a while near the end of a phrase. 
Um, and then two, three and two and four, rather, my two gate uh, uh, channels are both controlling the model. Um, so basically over here, uh, channel four is going into this VCA, um, which is turned up part way, um, but then has um, an, the other channel, channel two is basically being fed into with being attenuated down a little bit, fed into here so that when channel two is up, then it makes channel four hit even higher. So um, when it's it's kind of a bit like an or, uh, not an or, but a it 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 changes the model for plats whenever four goes up, but it changes it up even more if two and four are both high. So uh, let's take a look. Let's turn up plats and uh, do that. So the output of that then is just going into my hexagram, um, who uh, whose output is uh, being sent over to my FX aid um, on a, a ping pong delay. And we go from there. So let's kick this off and turn up the flats. You can hear it just mostly droning. Let me turn down. Um, let me turn down this guy here. Where's that going? Uh, there we go. So here's just plats. Um, you can hear mostly on the same note. It's all coming from channel three here. Mostly on the same note. Stepping up a little bit at the end of the phrase. Mostly on that low note there, but then you can see when four and when four hits is when I change over to uh, this uh, mode here because of how I have attenuated. But if two and four both hit, then it jumps all the way over to the red one of the, uh, the modeling one. So you can see that here. And on both of those, I had to make sure that I had the uh, pulse width in the track mode. So yeah, and then that's all being fed into the effects aid, which is on a ping pong delay here. And I twiddled with this a little bit, the time of it. It's a ping pong delay, or it's a delay into chorus actually, or something like that. So, so there you go. I, I had a fun time messing just with this stuff. Uh, it felt very different. Oh, and then uh, I didn't mention channel one here. So channel one of maths uh, and then two um, is actually being used to FM uh, the sister sound here. So let me see how that here this is what it actually sounds like when I do that. Let's come back over here. So this is the sound of it. Um, I'm taking the sum here. So channel one, which is on set, just on a on an audio rate wave, um, and then channel uh, channel one's turned up a little bit. Channel two's turned down a little bit to offset that, um, and then that is being uh, I can control how much a little more accurately here than with this one. Um, now channel three into the FM, so just give a little FM to that off of this note here um, and I and I had to offset a little bit here because otherwise this guy didn't stay in tune when I turned this on and off but it still it, uh, it still tastes it stays pretty well in tune now that I've got one turned up a little bit and two turned down a little bit to offset it um, and then that is also going over to the FM of plats um, but I haven't really noticed much of a difference with that um, but uh, yeah, I like what it does to this sound I certainly had fun exploring it 